Hi guys. Now after you've got your hosting and your domain name purchased and set up, the next thing you're going to want to do is install WordPress on your website. Now here is a very easy way to do it. Now if you remember that email that HostGator sent you, you're going to want to go to your control panel, your C panel. You can get there by clicking on this link or you can also get there by putting in your domain name, a forward slash and then C panel. You'll log in by, uh, I'll click on the link there, You'll just, you can just copy and paste your username and your password and you can just log in right there and then hit enter log in. Now I've already logged in. I'm going to go over to cPanel right here. I'm in the cPanel interface. Now what you'll want to do is scroll down to the near the bottom where it says software services and then click on quick install. You can also install WordPress using Fantastico Deluxe, but if you're using HostGator, I recommend using Quick Install. So just click on Quick Install. It's a very simple process, guys, just basically just one step. So all you need to do is make sure this little checkbox is uh, checked, Enable Automatic Upgrades. Then over here on the left, under Blog Software, click on WordPress. Okay, this is going to give you where your uh, information here. There's the it's the 3.5.1 is the latest version of WordPress, and I do like Quick Install for that fact. Um, it, it does does a really good job of keeping up keeping up to the latest version. Now, application URL you want to make sure if you have more if you have subdomains or more than one domain. You want to make sure it's in the right domain that you're installing it into. It won't let you reinstall WordPress over an existing WordPress installation. Okay, let's see here. I'm looking for... There it is, right down here. I'm looking for th this subdomain that I made. Now, if you aren't familiar with subdomains, uh, a subdomain is... Is you you can you make it you can go you make a subdomain on your cPanel account and basically the web address it would be like for this one is test six dot zms media which is my main domain so i'm going to install wordpress on te the test six subdomain make sure you have this box enable auto upgrades checked and you'll have to put in a good email i'm doing it the easy way here and then put in a blog title if you'd like i'm you can always change your blog title anytime you want but uh, i'll put in something here for the admin user, the, the only thing that you need to know is don't use admin uh, for security purposes. There's millions of websites with the admin user as admin, and it just makes the gives the hackers a one, one makes the hack gives the hackers one one step closer to hacking in, hacking into your site. So I'm just going to put something in there. We'll just put woohoo. Okay, first name and last name. You can stick it in there if you want. I'm going to skip that part. I'm just going to click on test install now. And I'll have a little progress bar down at the bottom. Now that actually took longer than it usually does, but anyway, that was really quick if you that was all in real time. Now down here, the login information was sent to the email address you provided. Now they'll, they'll you can't choose your own password. So if you do have a, ba a text file with all your login information, you can just stick that password, the username and password in there. You can also change this password if you'd like. Now here's the admin uh, WP admin. We're just going to click on this and go straight there. And then you just need to log in with that information that uh, they have right here. So I'm going to copy the copy the username right click and copy then right click and paste and go back and click this long password now you don't have to change this password I mean you can change it to something that you, that you like but uh, you, but if you have a text file and you keep all that information you'll you'll have that readily available or if you use what's called LastPass or RoboForm it automatically saves your passwords in usernames and passwords your login information then it makes it easy to I highly recommend LastPass by the way okay I'm just gonna click login okay there we go we have WordPress installed and now you're on the WordPress dashboard alright guys thanks for watching I hope you found it helpful please comment rate and subscribe and as always keep on keeping on
Thanks for watching.